Okay, welcome back to Ranch Simulator. Let's uh pick this up, get it back in the truck. Yeah, let's put it on the truck for right now. Yeah, I can see we've got one in there too. So, okay, well, uh, I was doing this wrong. Don't want to put space between them. Plus, uh, let's just bust out our bust this out and just boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. Let's try this again. Planters. Uh, let's see. Where is the... Okay. Um, let's see. How is it that we're supposed to do this? Like this? Try to want to try to make sure it's lined up. I guess if we use that center as the line like that I don't know if I'm doing that quite right but I'm taking the advice ah. <laughs> I don't want to have space between them how about like that does that look good and do four of them pretty close <laughs> okay, it's like the tiniest little step. I don't want to. Okay, just like that. Try it like that. Yeah, there's a little bit of gap in between some of them, but what we're going to do is we'll grab these. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more <laughs> than what I've got. I might just cut some trees instead of spending the money. Yeah, how many do I need on that one? I need seven more on that one. So I need 43 more for those. Okay. Let's get like to the farthest point of our property. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> well, my my rotors and brake pads got delivered for my for the Trailblazer today. So tomorrow, hopefully, the weather is nice enough to work outside a little bit. I'll probably have the Blazer in the garage a little bit to uh, while working on it. But I've definitely got to get the brakes changed on the front. The they uh, grind pretty bad <laughs> and they don't really stop me very much it's only one side but still when you're you know one side of the catches and the other side doesn't your steering wheel like turns for you when you're stopping <laughs> so I will be doing that tomorrow I might set up a camera perhaps depending what the weather's like and how I feel, <laughs> which it might make a good video, changing the brakes. Done it a few times on quite a few different vehicles. Plus, I uh, I had got that uh, CY95 uh, trail cam with the it's got the built-in uh, uh, solar panel on the top for a, a hunter's cam, and I was all excited to. I put it out on the tree, put up some food, came back today and the food was gone but there was zero videos on the camera so I was like okay what's going on with this so I tested it some more and sure enough the it recorded fine when you go through the it, the, the camera's got this app where you can actually see what the camera's seeing as long as you have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, close to it. So I uh, tried all different all the different settings and stuff and trying to figure out what's going on with it and you, you know you set it up and it says uh, auto camera ready to record and then it counts down and you know after it counts down it should set it to where it can record. So I, I set it up and I 
tried moving and walking in front of it and everything and nothing. Uh, so the, the the sensor for the webcam or for the trail cam not working. So I had the fun of needing to go through the whole process of getting it f for return. So I had that fun today, trying to get that all boxed back up. Now I have to wait until uh, UPS can come pick it up on Monday. And I ordered the... I, had, I was looking at another one. It's a T... It was a TC-22 uh, trail cam. It's got the... It's, it's the same as that one, but it's better. A lot better. It does... They both did 4K 30 uh, for video. Plus, uh, the one I had that uh, didn't work was f had a 48 megapixel um, web or, uh, camera. Well, the one that I ended up getting to replace it has a 60 megapixel. So I'm kind of excited about that, too. A little bit better camera, even though I'm going to be mostly doing video. The nice thing is you can set the, the video length, so I can do 15 second uh, video length for doing YouTube shorts of deer and stuff. Oh, and as I was going walking up to the where the camera's at, there was a partridge right in the spot uh, where the camera was pointing. So I was all excited. I was like, oh yeah, sweet. I'm going to have a partridge on the, on the camera. And uh, sure enough, yeah didn't work <laughs> um, and the one that I, I it was it was between the TC 22 and the uh, CY 95 I was trying to decide which one I wanted you know the the CT uh, 22 actually has a thing called night starlight um, night vision and it actually will record in the dark in color which is how pretty much unheard of on um, trail cams they're always the black and white um, or that greenish color you know night vision kind of thing so I'm excited about that the, the whole reason why I did go with the uh, CY95 over the TCC22 was because of the price the the one I ended up reordering it was 149, and the other one that I did get was 129, or one, yeah, one, yeah, 129, or 120, or something like that. Well, when I went to go to check out, there was a $40 coupon on the one, so it only ended up being like $85 for it. So I was like, okay, that's the reason I bought that one, and then the but when I reordered the the new one to replace the defective one, it also had a coupon for thirty dollars. So I was actually still I was able to get the new one that was one forty nine. I got thirty dollars off of that one, which I needed a new memory card too. So I used the extra thirty that I got off. I used that on a a good memory card for the camera. So, we will see how that one works. Hopefully, um, it functions a lot better than the first one I got, <laughs> seeing it didn't actually work. But there was just so many good reviews for that, that um, the 95. You know, it had a lot of really good reviews, a lot of people kind of praising it and stuff. I just happened to get a defective one, which figures that I would get get one that was no good but you know I could I could have reordered the same one and just got a good one and returned the defective one but it kind of soured my thoughts about it you know anybody else like that you know you, you get something you're really excited about it and then it doesn't work and it's not their fault it's a good camera you know Dude, you know, you look at the reviews. Yes, it's a great camera. It's just I ended up getting the one defective one. But, you know, 
at that point you're just like okay I don't even want to deal with it anymore you know what if I, you know the chance of getting another defective one is almost impossible but who wants to go through that again you know so I decided to not go through that again <laughs> let's see we got oh, pretty much all full here At least it looked like it. Yeah, let's get all these up and running. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew I was going to do something like that. Gotta remember to hit the E button and not try to click it. Because that's what makes so that it picks it up. I kind of like this. It's kind of a an assemb assembly line kind of set up here. Ah! I did it again. Cause I'm so like click there, click there, click there. Oh, I accidentally turned it off. This should definitely get me all the boards that I need. Last board, come on. <laughs> Can I reach it? There it is. Okay, now, uh, maybe if we drive to the other side of the saws, it'd be easier for me to get them set on there. Okay, that should be good right there. Okay, uh, hold on. We can get out of the truck. Okay, now I gotta stack all these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be able to click on each one of them. Or I drop those stacks. There we go. Oh, I wonder.
done or I, is it going to be enough? I'm going to be cutting it close. I want to have extras because I want to be able to build a lot of other stuff too. Oh, hold on everybody. I will be right back. Okay, I, uh, I'll i edit all that out, but I, I had to leave for a little bit. I When I set my mom up for the for the night for before I came in to record I set up so she could watch uh, oh, fl flea market flippers or something like that I think it's called and I had a she was gonna just watch the night um, her normal videos that she usually watches this is my uh, underwater uh, relaxation videos she watches before she goes to bed and then I just what I do is I set the TV up first you know like two hours or something like that where she can sit as she falls asleep and then it shuts off and she goes to bed well tonight she decided she wanted to um wanted to watch the flippers and well I set it up I forgot to turn off the I had only set it for a half hour for her well, it shut off. She came. She's like, "It got dark in my room." <laughs> so she thought the power went out or something. So, but then I was like, "Okay, well, it's not out because my computer and stuff stayed on." So, but I do have a battery backup, so you never do know if it uh, could have gone out. I didn't realize it because of my battery backup. I didn't see it, and I have my headset on, so I wouldn't have he heard it. So, but yeah, that's. I left for a little while even though you didn't realize it. <laughs> That's the reason why. Okay, let's go take these boards over. I'm not sure if these are enough or not, but hopefully it's pretty close. Oh, let's move that and pull right up next to there. Okay, let's park that there. Oh, let's check these. How are we doing on this? Oh, is it withered? Oh, oh. Did it actually start growing again? It's pretty close to being... Should have planted... Oh, I need more fertilizer now, too. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, let's pull the truck forward. Right there. Now we should be able to grab it pretty easily. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have enough. And we could probably make some more. Good. Yes, we can. Let's set this down here. And let's, uh, let's just continue moving them up that way I can make some more shelving unit too but right now let's uh, do a couple more of these hence the lining them up there okay It's pretty close to lined up, but it's not square. I know, I know. Not completely square. Yeah, I'm probably going to need... I need to go do the oil, too, because I haven't done it. Hopefully things are getting filled up in the oil. Yep, not going to have enough for all these. I might just buy the rest. So it's 11 and Wait, we got 6 in there or we got Okay, yeah, so we did So we need Oh, jeez. I'm just going to buy a whole bunch. I always try to do math late at night. <laughs> that never works. It, it's easy math. I know it is. I just, my brain's going at 100,000 miles an hour. Um, we, oh, wait a minute. We're going to want boards, but we're going to want to do the, the oil too. What I'm going to do is let's, we'll drive this truck with this trailer. Park the trailer at the, hardware store go get the oil drum trailer let's uh 
fill up with gas first. Um, get the oil drum trailer and move that with the oil to sell. And then we'll come back and get this one again. Full. Okay. I think we can just drive off, can we? And it'll unstatch. Yep, okay. Yeah, that works. Because I want to get the board, so I'm going to buy boards, so I want to have this trailer there so it can load the boards onto it. Oh! What is it with the... Hopefully that's something that they're going to um, work on. Not having a bunch of the exact same vehicles driving around all the time. Those little campers. Do I have... Oh good, I do have the stuff for the bees just in case. Even though I have not been coming across any for a while. We can load the logs up. We'll load the lumber up first. And then we'll go do the oil. Okay, let's see. We're just going to do 15 of them. I like how when you set it, and then next time it goes in the same line. You're not constantly, like, redoing how it's lined up. So it stays that line for where you're at. Makes it a lot easier for reloading. Loading large amounts of something. So, well, I will have a new webcam, or a new trail cam, not webcam, new trail cam on Monday. Because it won't get here until then. So I'm looking forward to having some deer videos for everybody. Normally we would have them in our yard, but the deer, for some reason, something spooked them to where they're not coming in. I mean, I put up food like crazy and you know like even put up deer scent and everything and just nothing we had we had bucks and stuff up till like the end of September we had I think it was the last time I had I seen a deer was like September 30th and they just all of a sudden just stopped coming in Which stinks. I love seeing my deer. But come to the when we finally get some snow, they usually always that's when they start herding up. And that's when I start getting them back again. If they slow down coming during the. Usually they come at night this time of year. So you don't actually see them, even if they do come. But I just haven't had any sign of them for. They haven't been eating any of the food or anything. So. Once the snow comes, then they start herding back up again. Okay, we're going to drop the trailer there. Oh, I should save too. This is the most irritating part of this, is getting these trailers to line up to where it's close enough. There, okay. Let's see how much oil or gas we still have in here. Oh geez, only still forty one. That means I don't have much in the way of oil in there. Oh, that's all the oil. Two Oh my goodness. I don't like that update at all. I liked when it was an easy money maker. Well I guess I didn't have to waste all that time hooking up the trailer. I guess I should have uh, looked that over first. Well, at least we bought our lumber that we needed. Now we can go and finish up those planters. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to save. 
Oh, I put it in the trailer. Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's go. Oh, you can actually knock them off the road? I thought they were like solid. You bump into them, they just stop you dead in their tracks. Shoot, I was gonna get him out of my way. I think I got that grill on there. Yeah, I was just thinking it was that way because the when you hit an animal, it just stops you dead in your tracks. I didn't think the cars would do it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just save when we get back to the house. <laughs> has horrible stopping <laughs> stopping ability okay uh, let's see grab it place it save it getting close to my time for sleeping huh okay now, uh, run around. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, now, how about if we set one of those over in the corner there? Shelf. I want another shelf. This kind of shelf. Uh, let's see. We can set it right here in this corner. Will it block my door or is that going to be good? Let's check. Try it. Because I can always break it down. It will, I'll lose boards, but not too bad. Okay, let's see. Can we open the door? Yeah, it's a little, little janky because it's kind of clipping through it, but I don't think we can't move the shelf, so. go and now we've got these sprinklers now if we set it in the corner of the put it like right here it should water all of them and then we'll put this one put it right in the corner there and hopefully that will water all of them now let's go, let's get some plant. I need to get fertilizer, but let's see what we got here. Plant some grapes. Do is plant grapes in this row and well, I guess uh, Is this the pineapples? Yeah. Oh, okay, well the last one will be, all I've got is watermelon. I don't know how good they are for money-wise, getting money, but. And then we can set the seed pack to set it on there. We can put it into a basket or something. Now, let's water these. Now, let's see if, how do we get the sprinkler system to start? Oh, press to trigger. Yeah, see that, that covers the whole, whole thing. Oh, 
I've got these water bowls and food containers and stuff there. Let's go check and see how the if it's watering any of these. Oh, start watering. Okay. And then this one. Cool. Now it should keep them watered. Now they should grow even without fertilizer. It just takes longer, I think. Which is fine. Doesn't have to be like super speedy. Once I get fertilizer, I can use it, but as of right now, I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, food. Oh, my my granary is too far away, I think. I'm going to have to get another one for it to get it closer. Oh, it's getting dark. Must be, yep, after 20, 100 hours. Let's grab our air mattress and sleep the night away. Okay. See, now, I would think that sleeping, it would pass time, which the oil should be functioning even when we're sleeping. So it should be f pretty far along. Basically, the amount of time that we've slept should be that far advanced. Oh, did those fill up? Oh, it's got water in it, looks like. Oh, come on, I saw it. I saw the indicator. There, there, it. It's one of those situations where it's like you have to get it just right. Okay. Yeah, I think those, yep, they're full. So it filled automatically. Now I've got feeders and I've got... Okay, I would have to buy food for that. I'm going to have to put a granary closer. I could put like one right here or something. Let's take a look at our... Uh, let's see, where is the granary? I built one, so I should know where it's at, but I don't remember. Yep, there be. Oh, uh, let's put it towards the back here, maybe, because this will itch, well, right there. Okay, what do we need? We need cement and lots and lots of metal. I do have cement. I've got quite a bit of cement, actually. Let's go grab this. Should be able to load it all onto here. Okay, this is five. <laughs> I need 125. Can I stack the metal on top of the cement? Yeah, we'll just leave that here for right now. Ah! Oh, I triggered the visibility area. Try to pick up the cement. There we go. Oh, all I need is one bag. Shoot! Ah! Uh, well, we're leaving that there. I need... I'm gonna drive this oh let's here, let's do this. I'm just gonna throw the cement in here, because I'm gonna have to drive this over there anyways. Cause I wanna offload all that wood into the garage there, and that way we have it for any future projects. Well, we're down to half a tank of gas already. I didn't think I drove that much. <laughs> that that oil tank gets pushed around all over the place. Okay, stacking. There we go. I did have a couple boards there, just a couple 
lonely boards. What's in here? Oh, that's that lawnmower. <laughs> After all the pain that thing gave me. Boy, I feel slow. And the truck fills it like filled up super fast. Well, I guess not from the can. That was when I was using the nozzle, but there it's full. Okay, let's go get some metal. Out of my way, camper. No, oh, there's that bear. I do have moments where I can actually drive. <laughs> Mind you, know they're not that often, but I get situations where I just like ditched at that, where I've managed to sweep through everything and didn't bump anything, except for the camper truck. But hey, I was talking about building and stationary items. <laughs> okay, let's see how many we got. We need so we need 125. So we need three stacks. Oh, why is there four in there? Fifteen hundred bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can't even afford one. <laughs> Crap. Um. Okay, well, the next episode, we will get the money we need for the metal that we need. So I might have to run over and get those, ex those couple barrels that I have. And bring those over to sell them so I can get the metal that I need for the granary. Which, I don't really need the granary yet. I don't know why I'm focusing on that, but you know what? I got my mind set on it, and so I guess that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will talk to you in the comments.